thought I saw somebody. I was about to go to bed actually, and I saw you from my window. Can I? Is there something I can do for you? Um, no, I'm, I'm just here to see the northern lights. Okay, it's just it's awful late, and you're in my yard. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was in anybody's yard. Well, uh, I thought it was just a random field. Well, it used to be a potato field, but now it's my yard. You have a really big yard. I guess. Well, I'll only be here tonight. I'll see them tonight, the Northern Lights, and then I'll be gone. I hope you don't mind. Is, is that a tent? Yes. <laughs> you, you've pitched a tent. So I have a place to sleep. In my yard? After I see them, I didn't know it was in anybody's yard. I hope you don't mind. Well, I don't, I don't know if I... <sighs> do you mind? No, 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 I don't, I don't no, mind. No, I think you do. No, really, no, I don't no, mind. You I don't do. mind. Oh, no, no. gosh, I'm no, really. so sorry. I didn't think you would. I, you see, I have a brochure. Brochure? Yeah, look, it says here that people from Maine wouldn't mind. It says that people from Maine are different, that they live life the way life should be, and that in the tradition of their rural and northern places like Scandinavia, they'll let people who are complete strangers, like hikers and bikers, just camp out in their yard if they need to. For nothing. They'll just let you. And I'm a hiker. Is that true? Well, I, I don't know. Would you let a person who's where they needed to be just camp out in a yard? Well, I don't know. A person who really needed to? Well, I did. Really, really needed to? If somebody really needed to, sure. Oh, but... Thank you! Oh. Um, thanks. Sorry. I just, I'm not really excited. It, it's, uh, it's okay. Um, so, you're. Why do you have my bag? Oh, well, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, so, you're just here to see the Northern Lights, right? Yeah, just tonight. Well, you know, you might not see them tonight, because you never really know. Oh, no, I'll see them, because I picked a bright spot. You see, your latitude is good. Well, as good as it can be under those circumstances. I was going to go up to a higher latitude, like up to Canada somewhere, but I forgot to renew my passport, so I couldn't. So anyways, this is the closest place I could get to in the lower 48 states that sees the Northern Lights. So anyways, I flew, and I took a bus, and I hiked, and I got here. So anyway, everything's in Boy, you have good sky and you're seeing them. It's so big and dark. And it's flat here. No trees in the way. Well, it used to be a potato field. Makes for a big sky. Yeah. So, you're a farmer? Oh, no, no, no. This used to be a potato field. I'm, I'm a repairman. Oh. What? <laughs> you're not a lobster man. I guess I just thought that everyone from Maine was a lobster man, talking that funny way like they do, and you don't talk that way. Oh, no, 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 that's down east, and you're up north now, and this is how we talk up here for the most part. Oh. Ah. Yeah, no relaxing, plus the ocean's a couple hundred miles away. It'd be an awful long ride for me to be a lobster man. Yeah, well, anyway, thanks for letting me sleep here. <laughs> I, I've come a long way, and it's been really hard lately, and I just, I really appreciate your Sorry, 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 uh, sorry. Um, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, and I'm real sorry about that. I just, you just look so sad, and and I, I think I, I think I love you. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I saw you from my window, and, and I love you. I, uh, um, well, that's really nice of you. I, that's not what I came for. No, 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 no. I didn't think that you were here for that. No, uh, I'm sorry. I. that the recently departed carry with them on their way home to heaven. And see, it takes us all three days to get to heaven. And see, this is Friday. This is the third day. So you see, I will see them because they'll be him who'll be carrying one of the torches. And see, I didn't leave things well with him. So I was just hoping that I could come here and say goodbye to him, but 
But what you did there just a second ago, that's gonna get in the way of me saying goodbye to you, I think. And so, you know what? Maybe I just need to go pack up all my things. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I don't, I don't know what happened, and, and I'm, I'm really sorry. Well, I do know what happened. I don't like it. Look, I, I'm not the type of guy who does these things. Please, I, don't go. Just consider what I did a, a, a warm paying welcome or something, please. Just, you know what? Holler if you need anything, right? Oh, hey, sorry I, sorry I got kind of mad, but thanks for letting me stay here. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. By the way, my yeah. name's Gloria, just so you know. Oh, uh, hi, Gloria. Hi. <laughs> Short for Easton, um, a town a little ways that way. Uh, it's it's funny actually. There was a mess up on the birth certificate. A boy named Easton born on the sixth day of January in Matthew, Maine, instead of the other way around. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, happy birthday a few weeks late. Here, maybe I have something. It's great for roofing, but... <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. How are you breathing? What? Well, if your heart's in that bag, how are you even alive? Well, it's artificial. Really? I mean, yeah, it's easier to get an artificial heart transplant than a real one. <coughs> so that's what I did. But, but why do you carry it around with you? Well, because, I mean, I'm coming to say goodbye to Wes. So I thought I might want it with me when I say goodbye to him. But, but it's, it's broken. Yeah. It's broken because of him. Because, yeah. because he left you. Yeah, but I... And it, it seems to me that somebody who leaves somebody like you doesn't deserve any respect. No, but I need to apologize. Apologize? Apologize for what? Because... Because what? Because I have to! Why do you have to apologize to him? Because... Because why? I was doing almost all the things I used to be able to do. 
And then one day, Wes just comes home and he says he wants him back. And I said, Wes, I have a new heart now. It doesn't want you back. And I just killed him. No, 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 that, that didn't kill him. You, you didn't kill him. I, I did though, because you see, he was so sad that my new heart didn't want him back. He just tore out of there and a bus was coming and it didn't see him and he didn't see it. Hey. And if I'd just been able to take him back, then he would have been torn out like that and just been taken out like that. And it's my fault. So I just wanted to come here and say goodbye to him. Not a sad ex-wife. Hey. I just wanted to say goodbye to him in my own way. It's not, it's all my fault. It's okay. It is. It's okay. It's not your Yes. I can't love you. Why? Back. 